a new format data series option is available to enable you to customize the appearance and data label settings for individual data points within a chart. Note that this feature is not available for box plot, map, tag cloud, or waterfall charts. In the Data Values tab of the Format Chart dialog, there are new options to control how data labels appear in charts. Additions include new data alignment settings and control over text wrapping. Note that the options available in the Data Values tab vary depending on the chart type. The Format Numbers tab now enables you to easily format numbers to display as dollars, euros, or yen, and to display values as percentages. The Prompt option in the predefined cell list now enables you to insert a cell to display the user's response to an individual prompt. Previously, it was possible only to display the responses to all the prompts in the document. Background images can now be defined dynamically based on formulas directly from the Format Report, Format Section, Format Table, or Format Cell dialog. Display options for dynamically defined images are the same as for any other image type. This means that dynamic images no longer need to be specifically sized to fit within a cell. Waterfall charts can now display different colors for totals and subtotals, as well as for positive and negative values. You can configure the settings on the Palette and Style tab of the Format Chart dialog. These enhancements make it easier for users to interpret waterfall charts. Web Intelligence 4.1 SP2 also introduces enhanced workflows when working with data from SAP BW, Universes, and Microsoft Excel. When working with BEX queries with mandatory variables and no preset values, the Variable Manager now includes the option to use the BEX query default value at runtime. When this checkbox is selected, the default value set in the BEX query is used when no preset has been set in Web Intelligence. Web Intelligence can now use Excel files saved to the BI platform as data sources for documents. Updates can be made to source Excel documents without breaking the associated Web Intelligence documents. Note that this feature is not supported in the Web Intelligence HTML interface. The object descriptions that display in the Query Panel can now be copied to the clipboard, enabling you to reference the descriptions when creating and interpreting documents. Web Intelligence 4.1 SP2 also features enhancements to developer support. Extension points are available on all Web Intelligence clients, and extension point management is harmonized with the customization user interface in the Central Management Console. You've reviewed the new features in SAP Business Objects Web Intelligence 4.1 SP2. This is the end of the tutorial.